See all that stuff back there that I erased? Was well, gonna be like swim bait body and stuff, but it's winter. And if you don't keep it simple in the winter, that's just stupid. It's already big. I don't even have a traditional Roadrunner jig head to show you. I looked through all my tackle, I don't have one. There's pr here's a picture. Everybody knows of them really. We're gonna upsize it, add a seven aught jig hook, seven aught, and go entice a pike out of the river. That's the goal. One day! Man, I gotta break the UV lights back out. I looked at pictures of the Roadrunner jig head itself really hard and I came up with that shape. Those little things enlarged is that. I should really check if I have correct swivelage. I might not have any ball bearing swivels, but that might not be necessary either. First one day of the year too, by the way. Every single year prior, every single one, that I tried to do the first one day of the year failed. Why? Because I didn't keep it simple, I'm pretty sure. I need to I need to calm down and make something that I can fish with confidence. This will be it. It'll have flash. It won't be too big. It'll be a jig. I can put whatever plastic I want on the hook. I'll have a nice bait keeper on it. This feels appropriate. We're headed in the correct direction. Sander just chowed that down real quick. We're gonna put a big dead meat custom on this eye. Oh man, this will probably be one of the best looking Roadrunner jig heads ever. Speaking of best looking, Chelsea, my wife, she's been using a device lately. This is a fantastic gift idea for you fellas, for you all to get your significant other. It's called the Foreo Bear. It's a microcurrent device designed to improve skin's elasticity, firmness, health, those things about your face that you want improved. Those things. Foreo is a beauty and wellness tech company. They offer innovative, professional quality beauty devices for use at home. The Bear. It's like a face workout with microcurrent electricity. It's pretty sweet. Chelsea loves it. It's been tested by third party consumer trials. It's legit. Differences are noticed. Chelsea noticed one the first day. It's got quite the record. 95% of users report looking younger in the face. The next day after Chelsea got done using it, she was, she woke up the next morning. And she's like, I, I think it's working. Like, I think I noticed something. She's made it part of her routine. She's excited to do it every night. Excited to see progress and results, you know? So thanks again, Foreo. Fantastic gift idea for your significant other. They will love their healthier, brighter, more energized looking skin. A proven, ideal little device to add to the beauty routine. Go check them out. Back at it, and before we add any shape to this, we need to put a slot coming in from the top to insert this hook into and super glue and baking soda. It's an age old tradition on the channel by now. Always good to score and cut notches too before sawing away at it. The thickness of these seven knot jig hooks are above average. It's a micro file. Micro files are definitely a useful tool in lure making. I think I want the line tie to come out of the bait directly above the eye. I don't, I'm not even gonna sink that deeper. The clear coat's gonna build up to that eyelet and fit perfect. That looks like a Roadrunner jig head. Let's add shape to the head. Gotta get the paper off. It's off. Just a small amount of tapering. mostly towards the back where the hook comes out. I want to be able to stuff half ounce, five eighth ounce of lead in the nose where that big lobe comes down, the Roadrunner lobe. I'll probably start out with a three eighth inch hole being drilled down into that. This is Tupelo wood, by the way. You can rely on me pretty much always using Tupelo wood to make anything. There's rare exceptions like big musky gliders that need a lot of lead. I'll, re I'll want a wood with reduced buoyancy, like maple or something. Otherwise, Tupelo. Balsa can take a hike. Basswood can get lost.
It has been a while since I carved something this small. Feels dangerous living on the edge. So I already know what eyes that I want. These delectable dead meat custom chartreuse eyes. I'm gonna go with a black and chartreuse paint scheme. I already know all this. I really know what I wanted before I started this. It's kind of rare in a one day build, but black and chartreuse, it's a good color for the rivers. That's summertime. Maybe I should go natural. I'll use these eyes, but maybe I'll have more of a natural black and chartreuse paint scheme going. I'm gonna shoot prey baits and whip wads and to go off the back of this bad boy. So I'll be able to coordinate all the colors. Man, I better not snag this thing. Okay, 3 8 inch eye. That'd be such a devastating fail if I snagged this thing early. I've casted baits off. Just popped them right off my line first cast before. So th there's no telling what's gonna happen. Baking soda. Sprinkled very little down the slot. That's just a little something to have that hook bedded onto. Now there's just a nice thin layer over it and we're gonna layer it up. You don't wanna do it all at once with super glue and baking soda. That's what I found. Layer it up. This thing wants its super glue bath already. Not yet, Mr. Roadrunner Jighead. We need to fill your slot first. I probably should have installed some sort of bait keeper. Probably under. That's okay, I can just drill a hole and slip that in. Okay, I got a bunch of baking soda in there. I can add a little bit of UV resin right there on the end of that bait keeper so the bait slides on and the plastisol expands over that and it gets hooked. All right, now it's time to see about getting lead. Ooh, I gotta plug in my lead pot. We're gonna get that lead pot hot. I remembered. It'll be hot at a reasonable time now. Time for hole. Right there. It's gonna change the shape of the bottom of this lobe. It's gonna flatten it off a bit because the hole is gonna be big, but we'll build that back up with super glue and baking soda. All right, some damage was done. Uh, you know it's fine. It doesn't matter. Super glue baking soda. That's, that's all this channel is, is super glue and baking soda. Dang it, I didn't know if it would work, but it did. I took the back of a piece of sandpaper and I cupped it around like that, sprinkled that baking soda, added that super glue. It built up a little wall like that so I can pour more lead into it. You get the picture, that was cool. Too bad I didn't record it. So that hole, how deep is that hole? That hole is almost three quarters of an inch. That's enough lead. A 3 8 inch diameter cylinder, three quarters of an inch is probably over three quarters of an ounce. So somebody is doing the math. I didn't. <laughs> Lead's hot. Yeah, that feels good and heavy. Look at what that heat did to that super glue and baking soda. Got a little toasty. No problems, just add some more. I think I found the blade I want for it, this little thing. It's got copper on the back, nickel on the front. Nice contrast, I think. That's what I'm going with so far. I might, might change my mind. Okay, everything smoothed off. It's got everything it needs except the spinner thing on the bottom. I found a ball bearing swivel that I had. Lucky me. I got some wire going through the back of it and a split ring on the front. That little twist wire section is gonna get glued into the bottom. 
Once you get a certain depth into lead with a drill bit, it just starts grabbing it and smushing it to the surface of the hole. It doesn't cut well. You gotta like slice it off with the razor. And there's the hole. There we go. Ball bearing swivel, free motion. That right there looks like a Roadrunner jig head. Big wooden one, oh yeah. And really, I think that's a good blade size. No need to get bigger than that. Let's give it a super glue bath. I'm not gluing that in until it's all painted and clear coated. I haven't had my fingers caked in super glue in quite a while. This is gonna feel nostalgic. I should get a brush out so I don't get a ton of that going on. I have to re-drill that eye socket one sec. I faintly remember that a chip brush with super glue works better than fingers. <laughs> I think we figured that out before. Oh yeah, way better. Super glue on the fingers, totally unnecessary, just use a brush. What have I been doing my whole life? And just like that, it is sealed. Time to paint. Okay, all primed and ready for its first coat. Starting with white. Nice and smooth, good. I'm satisfied with that finish. Neon chartreuse, this is just gonna go everywhere. I'm pretty, well, maybe not on the bottom. Everywhere but the bottom. That was wine pearl. So we're gonna do black on the top, maybe silver or something in the middle, and some other color on the bottom, I don't know. White? There'll be a three transition color. I'm having that black go down quite a ways intentionally. A little bit of silver. Yeah, I just wanna go back to white down there. There we go. Kinda covered up that pearl line. That'll show through through the crackleishness that this fabric produces the effect of. Let's see how it looks. <whistles> Dramatic. Wow. I'm gonna paint some black. The belly looks fine. There's some crackle all the way through that pearl wine. I like that. I'm just gonna do black on the top. That was successful. That eye is gonna look good on this. Man, it's a pretty big shame. There's the black on the top that I have to go to the river with this and up my chances of getting this snagged by like 500%. But that's what we do on this channel. Every single time for some reason I go to the river and snag my bait. Look at how those eyes look. I loaded up on a ton of dead meat custom eyes this year. We're gonna have a lot to try and match. Delicious plethora, thank you, Matt. It's just perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Gotta get the cancer light ready. Gotta be careful with this kind of light, fellas. Just, you know, don't do this. Don't, don't turn it on and just do this for a long time. That could ruin your life. We're gonna get a little cup. Gonna fill it with UV resin. This is hard Chinese UV resin. Could be Japanese, I don't know. Chinese or Japanese. And apply a substantial coat. Chip wants to go poop, but I'm in the middle of something. Sorry, Chip. I need my sunglasses one second. I'm gonna do this just long enough for it to harden. I just hit a light and as you could have probably heard, it's already hard. <laughs> it knocked. Oh, I wanted to do a little thing on the back there with the bait keeper. I added a tiny bit of UV resin so the bait slips over the bait keeper a little easier. That really does help. Let's see if there's a way to stick this in here. Boom. See you in like 20 minutes. It doesn't take 20 minutes, but see you in 20 minutes. Actually, while we wait for that, we can shoot the perfectly colored soft plastics I want for this jig head. I'm gonna use whip wads mostly, I believe. I got extra 4.1 prey baits too, in case they want those. Using a soft blend, because I'm fishing cold water, slowly. We're gonna do black and red long flake, and then chartreuse and gold long flake. Black on the top, chartreuse on the bottom. I forgot to show you the time. We started at 10 o'clock. Pretty late for a one day, but we started at 10. It's 12.10 now, and we're shooting soft plastics. Chartreuse, black, 
lots of red, lots of gold. Those felt really smooth. That's probably all I'm gonna need this entire trip. Seven baits for one jig head. I got a bag full of more, so. We're stocked, we're ready to go. We have as good of a chance as any for this time of the year to catch fish, I think. Oh my goodness. What is it, Chippy? What is it? You hear stuff? Precisely what was needed. You'll see once we get one on a jig, that jig head. Those are gonna look good. I shot those without the hook slot too. As you might know, on the whipwad mold, you can flip that stuff around, have a hook slot, or don't have a hook slot. We got the red flake showing through. Look at those tails. Oh my goodness. Success. Just as much success. Oh my goodness. Those are some spiffy looking 4.1s. Pulled the oversized Roadrunner jig head out of the UV lights. We're filling the pilot hole up with thick, clear super glue. Plenty of delicious squeeze out. There we go. Give that a minute. Let this spinner understand its new reality. It's part of a massive wooden Roadrunner jig head. That's awesome. I wonder if we should start with a whip wad first. Where does this come out? Just before the anal fin. <laughs> if it was early spring, I would have the utmost confidence in this bait, but it's still winter. It's just a warm day today. Confidence level five out of 10 right now. Let's go make something happen, fellas. Let's go. Here we go, one of my favorite spots in this whole wide world. Big old break in the current. Comes back right here. You can walk out there. I'm excited. Let's see if it's happening today. What's it do? It better spin. Oh, it does. Wow, it works exactly like one. Hopefully you guys can see that flash down there. Dude. Confidence level six now, <laughs> I think. I mean, I would not be using this size of a Roadrunner jig head otherwise, but maybe we'll just hammer them today. Oh boy. We got our first big snag, fellas. It feels horrible. Oh no. Yeah, it feels like a piece of wood. Yeah, that's, that's my line screaming. Saying, what did you do? Oh, oh. It's loose. We got it. We got it. Everything's okay. Hook's still sharp even. Just got to bend it back. I would say that it is safe to assume that I am going to snag this. Go ahead and assume that. I will snag this bait. It's just about getting a fish before that happens. Dude, I just hit that same snag. Well, I was expecting that. One day failed. It worked so good. It was such a good oversized Roadrunner jig head. 
Let's fish with other stuff. Well, Bob Saget, it was a pretty sweet lure. It worked good. It would have been great for springtime, you know? I have the solution to problems like these. I'm gonna solve this problem soon. We're gonna be going somewhere else other than here. And no, I don't mean another one of my spots around this area, I mean Florida. I think we're gonna be headed to Florida real soon. We're gonna escape this nonsense, just, just this absolute nonsense. Winter, who needs winter? I don't. We're gonna make something special. We're gonna head south. We're gonna make stuff happen. That'd be very embarrassing if we didn't make stuff happen. And I drove 20 hours to Florida. We'll make stuff happen. Until then, on to the next bait. Chip wants to go poop. Dang it. That's just stupid. Feels horrible. Otherwise, Tupelo. Time for hole. What did you do? Super glue bag soda.